You know, the first time that I saw Andrew Garfield and Emma stood on screen together, I thought Andrew Garfield was gonna say these lines. My name? Um, my name is- Sorry, my is at the cleaners! Along with my hoodie and my f***ing flip-flops, you pretentious douchebag! And I'll bet what you hate the most is that they identified me as a co-founder of Facebook, which I am. You better lawyer up, asshole, because so I'm not coming back for 30%. I'm coming back for everything. The Amazing Spider-Man. Before I saw The Amazing Spider-Man, I was excited to see this movie. It was actually one of my most anticipated movies of the summer. This is a reboot of the Spider-Man franchise and the third Spider-Man came out like five years ago. A lot of people were skeptical about that. I actually didn't care. I was actually really optimistic to see this movie. Spider-Man movie when it first came out, I loved it so much. This is actually a big childhood movie of mine. Spider-Man 2 I love. I love the first one. I love the second one. I think the second one's a little better. It's such a great film. And Spider-Man 3 came out and I actually like it when it first came out and I actually still like it now. I was so excited to see this movie because Spider-Man is so awesome. And after waiting so long to see The Amazing Spider-Man, this movie was awesome. Mark Webb, if any of you don't know, um, he first started directing music videos. In 2009, he um, directed 500 Days of Summer, which is like a big smash Sundance um, independent hit. Something that really surprised me about his direction is that uh, he focuses more on the human emotion side of like superhero movies. Since he directed 500 Days of Summer, there's a lot of romance. It actually didn't ruin the pace at all. It actually was really well grounded. The first time that I heard Andrew Garfield being the news Peter Parker Spider-Man, I didn't really know what to say. And then once when I saw the social network, I was like, oh my gosh, Andrew Garfield's gonna be a great Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield was really good because he has two different types of characters. He plays Peter Parker, who's kind of shy, nerdy, and then when Andrew Garfield becomes Spider-Man, he's invincible. He's very witty, very um, intelligent, kind of arrogant, and also Andrew Garfield had to be in a few emotional, dramatic, kind of deep scenes, and he was actually really good at that. I actually think he's better than Tommy Maguire a little bit. I still love Tommy Maguire. Emma Stone, who plays Gwen Stacy, Peter Parker's first love interest. Emma Stone did a good job. I liked her performance. Ryze Funz, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he plays Dr. Kirk Connors and also the Lizard. He was good, and also Dennis Larry, Gwen Stacy's father. He was good. He's also the guy who's Diego from Ice Age, so that's pretty awesome. Martin Sheen, who plays Ben Parker, pretty much Peter Parker's uncle. Um, he was good. Sally Field, who plays Aunt May, of course, Peter Parker's aunt. Um, she was good. There was one scene when Sally Field was talking to Peter Parker, and I swear, I thought she was going to say this line. You know, Peter Parker, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. A lot of people have been arguing that there are some scenes in this movie that are very similar and has like the same kind of plot elements to the first one. It's a new interpretation of this on, of the ori origin story which I really like. The action is also really good in this movie and it's sometimes freaking awesome. There were some parts when I was like, oh my gosh, he's fighting the lizard, oh my god, he's webbing, it's so awesome! Sometimes during the action scenes there were some pretty interesting like cinematography shots kind of like close-ups and kind of like like the way the camera moves. The music composer of The Amazing Spider-Man is by James Horner. He's a really popular music composer. He did Titanic, Avatar. I like the music score in this film, particularly because James Horner is one of those music composers who has like a scene. His music fits so well with the scene, whether it's emotional, whether it's epic. There was one certain scene in the third act of the movie that like when I was watching it, James Horner's score was so remarkable and the scene that was happening, the editing, cinematography, the way it was directed, executed, everything blended well so together that I was having tears of happiness, of geekiness, of nostalgia, of watching all the Spider-Man movies and the games. All my years of Spider-Man was in that one sequence. When I was watching that particular scene in the theater, this was my whole reaction. There was actually a lot of funny moments, there's a lot of good one-liners, and some segments of the humor came from Andrew Garfield being Spider-Man, you know, fighting the cops, the vigilantes, and kind of fighting the lizard. A lot of people were skeptical about the lizard, like during the trailers they said that, oh, it looks kind of fake, it looks kind of cheesy, but I actually like the lizard in this movie, it looks really cool. A lot of people during the pre-production and production of The Amazing Spider-Man were very um, skeptical about the suit in this new Spider-Man. It is legit. I still adore that suit in the first few movies, but in this Spider-Man movie, 
It's really cool, it's really well designed. I do think The Amazing Spider-Man is an awesome movie, but I have a few problems with it. There's a lot of like um, editing and cuts during when Spider-Man's with um, the vigilantes and uh, funny the cops. Sometimes there were so many cuts that I had trouble like enjoying the scene to its full potential. The villain of the movie, who is Dr. Kirk Connors, who eventually becomes the lizard. Eventually throughout the movie, he, like his motivation for becoming evil and the villain, I didn't really find it that interesting. I do like the romantic aspect of this movie because it makes the movie feel more human, more grounded, but the two actors working together, I just didn't really buy it. It kind of felt a little forced, kind of pushy. I didn't really buy them as like a couple kind of uh, in a relationship. So yeah guys, overall The Amazing Spider-Man is an awesome movie! It's well acted, especially by Andrew Garfield. It's well directed, it has a nice story, it's funny, there's some good action sequences. This is a superhero movie that's well focused on human feelings, emotions. This is a really good superhero movie. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Awesome movie. It's definitely better than Spider-Man 3. I don't know if it's better than Spider-Man 1 and 2. I'm actually going to see 1 and 2 on Blu-ray tomorrow or today to compare. A friend of mine who saw The Amazing Spider-Man with me, he said the movie was pretty good. He liked it. He actually has a YouTube channel. I could put the link in the bottom below. I'm going to give a shout out to someone who I've known for two years and since June 2010. He was originally Kern Dog Reviews. He did a lot of videos back then. He quit and then he's back. His channel name is Every Man's Reviews. I'll put the link in the bottom below. Um, he's a really cool guy. He's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of The Amazing Spider-Man. See you guys later.